Let's talk about Marlowe. It's something you might have heard about here and there, but I don't really think that people understand how important Marlowe will be for the future of smart contracts and Cardano. In finance, there are common types of financial agreements that happen all the time, such as escrow, swaps, CFDs, and various types of bonds. And for the most part, these services are carried out by third parties that charge hefty fees, or in some cases, percentages of the funds involved to execute these services. But we're heading into the future and we can leverage blockchain technology to do the heavy lifting. Blockchains are immutable, meaning once the info has been input, it can't be changed. This is the ideal condition for anything to do with financial contracts, because you certainly don't want people changing things that have already been agreed upon, especially if the other party doesn't know. And when it comes to security, Cardano is the most secure proof of stake blockchain in the world. But we can do even better than just the security that blockchain technology offers. And that's where Marlowe comes into play. Marlowe is a DSL, which stands for Domain Specific Language. And that means Marlowe is a language created specifically to handle financial contracts like the ones I mentioned at the start of this video. This makes it a special purpose coding language written in the language of finance rather than a general purpose language, which means it's easier to read, write, and understand. It's also safer. Some errors are impossible to write based on the way the language has been written, and we can completely analyze contract behavior without having to run a contract. Okay, so Marlowe is a coding language native to Cardano, but it's also a suite of products and some of those products are intended for developers and some for the everyday user. So let's take a look at both sides, starting with the products for the everyday user. Marlowe's first iteration will be a browser-based application, which will give you access to the Marlowe suite, which includes Marlowe Library. And this is where you can find ready-to-use contract templates from an open source library. This will give anyone the ability to use all those financial agreements I mentioned previously and more by simply selecting one of the agreements from the library of verified smart contracts and then filling in your information. And for the developers, Marlowe was built with accessibility in mind. You can use either JavaScript or Haskell to build Marlowe contracts, or you can write in the native language of Marlowe itself. And if you're new to coding, you can take it one step further and use an innovative open source tool known as Blockly, which allows you to build financial smart contracts by simply dragging and dropping different options into place. This sort of accessibility opens the door to a much wider audience of potential developers, and now people with extensive knowledge in finance, but little in coding, can bring their expertise to the blockchain and evolve the space that is DeFi. This is really quite a big deal when you take a moment to think about the billions of people that don't currently have access to these types of tools, and will be able to have access to them no matter where they live in the world as long as they have access to internet. Consider those people that have no identity and no access to banking. Marlowe is able to give them access to credit and banking instruments with just internet access. Marlowe is one step closer to bringing peer-to-peer -peer services to the world and eliminating unnecessary third parties. And this is in line with Cardano's mission for financial inclusion. Marlowe's aim is to democratize finance and make it accessible to everyone.